Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm Michelle and today we've got a super effective, super fun full body rip workout. If you're looking to build more muscle, increase that metabolism, this is the workout for you. This workout is set to the beat of the music. We're gonna have a track for each body part. So we're gonna be working the legs, those arms, the core, the back, you name it. We got it all in one workout. RIP workouts use high repetitions and different rhythm patterns so that we can really fatigue those muscles so that we can really get more out of the workout. Equipment wise, we're gonna be using a variety of dumbbells. You could also be using a barbell. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. Hey, you want more content? You wanna help me create the content? Make sure you click that join button below. Click it. In this warm up, we're gonna start with deadlifts, so make sure your back is ready for it. Remember, light. I'm gonna be doing eight. I would say eight to 10 is kind of where your range should be for you women. And then we're also gonna be having another set that's a little bit lighter for some shoulder movements. Grab your weight, roll your shoulders back, lengthen through that torso. Roll the shoulders back, set them. Do it again, roll it back. Slow deadlift, lower down to the knees for four. Rise up, flat back. In a deadlift, right, I wanna push my booty back, keep the spine long, pull the abs up and in. Bring it up, same move but a two by two. A little faster. And you don't necessarily have to come all the way up. You can keep a little hinge forward. One more time and then a slow clean and press. Pull the weight up to the chest, slow. Push to the sky, back down to the chest, down to your thighs, slow dead row. Come to the knees, one row, hold to the belly, let it go and rise it up, same thing. Faster, here we go, pull it up, big push. Dead row for one, rise up, again. Super job, dead row. Now dead row for seven, come down and hold for seven. Pinch in between the shoulder blades, down and pull back. Nice and flat back, abs are pulling up and in. One more time, deadlift two by two. Here we go, hinge. All right, remember just warming it up here. Getting those muscles ready for this big workout. One more time. We're gonna take it into a slow clean and press. Pull it up, push it up. Back down to your thighs. Dead row is slow to the knees. Pull it, let it go. Take it up, faster, clean press. Dead row. One more like that. Clean it up. Push. Dead row. All right, upright row. Singles, pull and push. Up and push. All right, we're gonna be transitioning to squat. So if you have a barbell, you're gonna be pulling it up behind the back. And we're gonna hold the weight up at the shoulders. This time, hold it here. Hold, set the feet. Squat down, two, up two. In a squat, right, you're gonna send your hips back. And then when you rise up, press through your heels. Keep your eyes lifted, your belly up and into that body. Down, halfway up. We're gonna bounce to the bottom four times. Down to the top. Do it again, little bounce. To the top, slow. Four count, take it down. Oh, you gotta melt it. Hold and push now, four. Do it again, melt down. Yeah, you're feeling that glute now. Push through those heels. Right foot steps forward and single lunge. Step and go, eight. Or you can always step it back. Four more with this leg, and then we're gonna switch. Step back and switch. Left leg forward lunge. Eight. And it's okay to be wobbly, right? Make sure your feet are separated, dropping about to 90 degree angles with those legs. Two more, and then we're gonna grab something lighter. You have a break. Grab something lighter. I'm going for fives. If you're 
Here's what you're going to see. A forward raise. Palms go up. Diagonal. Thumbs out. Palms down. Side raise. Back to the diagonal. You ready? Palms up. Here we go. Scoop front. Side. Palms down. Back to diagonal. Scoop up. Get those shoulders nice and warm here, right? Two more rounds of this. Shoulder height. You'll see this later in our shoulder track. One more time. Roll the shoulders back. And we are moving on. Nice job. How'd that feel? Whew. This squat track, we want moderate load. This should be one of your heaviest loads that you have. We are going to be doing a moving squat, so we will be stepping out, dropping into the squat, rising up, and coming back in. You can hold your weight down low or up high, whatever feels good to you. I think I'm going to hold mine up at the top. Are you ready for the squat track? Down slow, four count, drop. Hold at the bottom and then push. Now let's stay at the top half. Come down, half, and up. Really pull the abs in and up. Push through the heels, four more. Down two, up two. You say you love me, I say you crazy. We're nothing more than friends. Go as low as you can. Keep an arch in that low back. One more, then we go to singles. Turn it up. Four more, and then we're going to work that bottom half. Great job here. Down, halfway up. Bounce. Stay. Bottom top. Do it again. Drop and bounce. We're getting ready for that step out. Bottom top. We got to pause. Step out. Drop. Up and in. Do it again. Step drop. Up and in. Two more. And then we're going to add a knee up. I'll show you. That is an option. If you don't feel stable, just tap it in. Top half, drop here. Eight. I like this option too, right? If your arms are feeling like, hey, I want them to hang low. Go low. I'm going to pull them back up. Down two, up two. You say you love me, I say you crazy. We're nothing more than friends. Front load helps you sometimes drop a little bit lower in your squat. Did you know that? Single out. Good, good range of motion here. Eyes are up. We're going to take it out to the other side. You ready? Step out, drop. Up and in. Take your time. Wide. Woo. Four more, adding that knee, drop, up, and knee, step, two more, one more time, take it down halfway up, drop, halfway, Woo. come on. Fuel the fire in those legs. Bottom top, down two, up two. How's that squat doing, right? I just turn so you see my range. I have that weight in front that helps me drop a little bit lower. Full range, go. Quick. Power through the heels. Squeeze something back there. Bottom half. Give me that bounce. Drop. Halfway. Did I make it clear, right? Bottom top. 
Woo! Remember those step out, you're gonna be alternating them. No knees up. Bot top, step out to the right, pause the drop. To the left we go, watch where you are. Take it wide, come on. I want your eyes up, there we go. One more time. Nice job. Woo, if you need a quick stretch, stretch out those legs. Right, you can pull heel to the butt. Or if your butt got a little bit tight, right, you can always do oh, a quick little figure four. But take a moment, stretch it out. Oh. This chest track has heaviest load first for chest press. We have Catherine in the back doing an incline bench press, so that's a great way to work the chest a little bit differently. And then we're gonna do a diagonal reach, right? We're gonna take it, we're gonna lighten the load and do a diagonal reach, keeping the arms long, and then go into fly. So two weights, heavy, right? I'm gonna go for 15, and then I'm gonna go for eight. You're on your back looking at the sky, you got your heaviest weight. Keep it wide, down two, up two. If you're from the 90s, you know what you would say in that break, right? <laughs> Two more, and then we're going to do some drop and holding. Down and hold it, stay here. Hold, hold, push it up. Drop and hold, push it up. One more of those. Hit the singles, you got eight. Oh yeah, it does feel so good in that chest. You should be feeling it now. We got that dramatic pause, use that music, here it is. Yeah. Melt it for count, getting ready for round two of the chest press. Push it up. Two by two. Well, you can't say good morning, morning. Option legs can be up, but I'm gonna keep my legs down, just kind of bracing my core, my pelvic floor. Down and hold, let it simmer. Push it up. Dramatic pause, drop, push it up. We're almost done with this press. Single out. Yeah, you make me feel so good. Woo! You're so fine. Drop and stop. Up hold. Transition a little lighter. I'm gonna go to my eights. We're gonna use this for flies too. Arms are up, one arm back, one arm down. Diagonal, down, two, bring it up. Switching arms. So one arm goes by the ear, one arm goes by the hip. Go to arrange this A-OK -okay for your shoulders. Drop and hold here. Up hold. Do it again, drop hold. Hold it, stay at the top. Hold. Drop and lift, small. So the singles, but they're kind of quick, you feel them? Come on. Keep them coming, I'm feeling it. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go to that fly. Open up, four count, slow. Four, three, two. Oh my gosh, this feels good, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Two by two, open up. Make sure you really squeeze. Elbows are soft, arms are wide. Hey, she give me love and I feel all right now. 
Where to go? A little drop and hold, simmer it out. Bring it up. Drop and hold. Up hold. Do it again. Singles, go. Maybe you stay more low. You can do half range at the bottom. Drop it out and hold it. Up. Drop again. Drop and hold. Singles. In. Yeah, let's drop and stop. You ready? Drop it out. Drop. Ease it down. Hold it. Simmer. Shake. Ton. Woo. Nice job. Oh. <laughs> if you need a stretch, reach it out. We need a stretch. <laughs> oh, great job, ladies. Great job, you. In the backtrack, we want that moderate load. We got dead lifts, dead rows, and then we're gonna do a lunge with a little chop. We're gonna go from low to high with one moderate dumbbell. Or know your body, so if you need something lighter, make sure you have that near you. I'm gonna be using 12 pounds. All right, let's set your shoulders, roll them back. One more time, and then we're gonna do a two by two dead lift. Pinch down towards the knees. And again, a nice flat back. Look out in front. You only need to go just waist below the knees. And then push up to the heels. Same thing. Down three, up one. A little slower down. Quick to the top. Push through the heels. Arms relax. Let them just kind of hang down. One more time. That is a single dead row. Down one pole. Rise it up. Total of eight. Hinge with a flat back and a pull to the belly. Rise it up. Keep looking out in front. Four more. Wrist is nice and straight. All right, back to the deadlift, four counts. Take it slow, melt. Rise it up. Really think about where you're pressing from. Do that again. Slow down to the row, quick two rows. And then rise up slow. Do it again, so come on down. Quick row two. And rise it up. Two more. Pinch between those shoulder blades. Check it up again now. Dead lift down two, up two. Round two. Oh yeah, I'm starting to feel the back of the legs and your low back. It's all engaged here. So pull the belly in to protect your back. Three and one. Now try not to push your hips to me when you rise up tall. You can keep a little hinge. Down one, row one. Here it is. Dead rows. Come on up. You got a total of eight. If you want it harder in the row, keep the hands out wide. Four counts, really work on that technique. Bring it up slow. One more of those. We're gonna go down two with those two quick rows. Take it down slow. Quick hold, two. On up. Two more like 
my hands forward round that back and then I'm gonna open that chest we are moving on great job get ready for those triceps we're gonna fire them up we got a lot of push-ups here in tricep push-ups we want the hands a little bit in you come to the knees it's gonna help you get the range of motion to really activate the triceps if you don't want to do tricep push-ups you could do some kickbacks you could do some skull crushers you can do what you need to do right you do you and then we're gonna go into overhead extension so we're gonna have weight ready to either one weight or two dumbbells so we're gonna do about three and then we'll do a child pose take a little break and we'll do some more hands about shoulder width apart hold on to this so if you're on your knees pull your heels to your butt lock in load because we're gonna work those guns of yours down two up two all right you should be rubbing the ribs with your elbows so we lock them in one more push back child come forward three and one so slow in the down one push to the top two more all right that's it push back in child come back in drop and hold four more push drop and hold come on up two more Transition overhead extensions. You have time. I'm gonna stand up. You have the option to be on your knees. Arms are up. One or two dumbbells. You just got 16. That's all I'm asking for. Singles. Drop. Push. A little bend in your knees. Biceps by your ears. Wide and narrow. I want this moderate because you only have eight more. But I know you're thinking, I'm going back to try some push-ups again. Feel that fire. That's a great thing to have happen. Embrace it. All right, relax. Get ready to go. Ready, set, two by two. I'm going under. See, Jen took the option, right? You can take the options. You can do singles if you want to, Jen. You can do your own pace. Child pose. Push it back. All right, three and one. Here we go. Slow to the bottom. 
quick to the top. One more. Child pose. You got four more to go. Remember, there's a drop and stop. Go. Drop and push. Ooh, these are like those chaturangas that we've done in the past. You should be strong for them. All right, we're coming up overhead extensions. Woo! How'd you feel on that second round? Weight is up. I feel good. We got 16 of these. Drop here, 16 quick. You want to change the shape of your arms. You got to get to that fire, right? You got to feel like, oh my gosh. Oh, I think I went heavier. Pull your belly up and in. Keep that little bend in your knees. Eyes are looking out. Everybody looks great here. So do you. How about one more set of push-ups? Yeah, I heard that. I heard you love me. Ready? In four, three, down two, up two. You got this. Yes, you can do this. Child pose. Three and one. Just a couple extra ones at the end. Because we're on the last round here. Sit back, child. Dramatic drops coming. Ready? Drop and hold. Up hold. There is a break coming up before we finish this off. Because you can do this. Pull the belly up and in. One more time. All right, child pose, sink it back, relax. This is the dramatic build for the end. Are you ready? Get yourself set. You got three single push-ups and then one child pose. Here we go. Three, two, one, push back. Do it again, push-ups, three here. How many cycles? This is two of three. Push back. Finish this. I think we can do one more. My number might have been wrong, but the music's right. Push back. Woo, that's it. I didn't want to cut you short at all. <laughs> so give yourself a nice stretch of the triceps. That was tough. That was probably one of the harder ones we've done in a while. So I hope it, you know, build up to those push-ups. Know your body too, that if you need to, use your chair, right? You can have an inclined chair or your bench. Remember that next time. In this leg track, we're gonna be doing a step forward lunge. Come in, step out, squat. You can always take it to a back lunge, but this is the leg that we're gonna work. So I would take this leg back and then take this leg out into the squat. I know that's confusing, but do what you need to do. It's good to go forward, right? But if your knees are sensitive, take that other leg to the back. I'm gonna use 10 pound weights just to be mindful of my back a little bit here. Roll your shoulders back. Get ready for that right leg. Step first, drop. Come in, squat out. Do it again, step. So we're staying on this same leg for six rounds. That's round number two. Round three. Weight could be up or weight could be down. If your arms are like ours, they're kind of feeling it. Good to move in all directions here. One more. Step it in narrow and hold. I'm going to hold it here. Drop. Squeeze your thighs. Eyes are up. I like the way it appears. It's going to help your back. Rise it up. Down bounce. Down full up. Do it again. So it's a little bounce. And then all the way up. And if you need to open your legs up, you can. We're going to stay narrow. 
your choice. One more. All right, take a break here. Woo. Relax your shoulders. All right, so we got the other leg. So remember what I said, what do you need for your body? Are you guys ready? Left leg, step drop. In and squat. Again, it's a total of six. This is number two. And options, weights can be up. And you can make your own moves too if you want to, right? I like the weight down. Make me feel more stable. Pull it in narrow. Hold. Drop into that squat. Eyes are up. Belly's in. Bring it up. Down, bounce, and fold. Total of eight. And then we're going to get rid of the equipment. And we're going to do some curtsy lunges and some fuzz squats. Two more. All right, relax those weights down. This right leg is moving in a curtsy lunge. Ready, set, tap it back. Hey, hey. You can do a knee up if you want to. Four more, and then we're gonna squat knee up. Squat knee up. And then we're gonna combine the two of these. You got one curtsy and one squat. You ready? Curtsy, squat. Combining those two movements. Woo! Super job. You got four more. How low can you go? Right? Other legs ready to move. Let's go. Down, tap. Oh, we got a break. I'll take it. You ready? Right here. Down, tap. Come again. Always come back again. You ready for that squat knee? Right there. Out. Power off that foot. Use your core. Four more. And then we take it to the curtsy and then that squat. Curtsy. Keep your back flat, eyes are up. Even if you're touching the floor, you use your legs, not your low back. Your heart rate should be up now, right? Ooh, that's right. Last one. That's it. Woo, nice job. Yeah, that was super fun, wasn't it? I'm gonna do a little straddle stretch. Oh, catch my breath. We're moving into those biceps. Oh. We got bicep curls. I'm gonna use 10 pounds, three rounds, roll the shoulders back. Slow, four count, palms up. Squeeze the top, release. Do it again, abs are tight, knees are soft. Relax your fingers, two by two. Bring it up to the shoulders. Control it down. Pel pull up your pelvic floor, ladies, right? Three up, one down. Control the drop. Let's 
stagger, halfway hold, top hold, middle hold, bottom, middle hold, hold it, relax your fingers, top half from here, take it up, eight, I want to shake my hips with that part, but that's hard to do, <laughs> can you do it? To the bottom, halfway up. You might to be able to do the head. Like the chicken. Right? Bottom of the first round here. Alright, put it down. Now we can shake it. I want Carol to shake it. I'm always on you. Alright, break us over though. Grab your weight. It's enough shake in there. Step one foot back. Four by four. Here we go. Round two. You'll get another chance to shake it. <laughs> Diane, you're up next. <laughs> what about you at home? Can you take a little shake break? Two by two. Ooh, this is plenty for me, the 10. I'm still kind of in my recovery mode. Three and one. I'm already really liking the spice of track. It's kind of like one of my favorites already. Because I like the music. Stagger, halfway hold. Up. Middle, drop. All right, you ready? Hold it, hold it. I'm going to step my feet in. Hold. Top half, you got eight singles. Squeeze. Oh yeah, now I, I heard that, right? That, oh yeah. Wrist is straight, check your wrist out. Is it straight? To the bottom, halfway up. Right, you feel it, right? I do. Four more, and then you're gonna shake it. Diane, you're up for this one. Are you ready, girl? All right, put it down. We were excited about putting the waist down. What you got? What you got, cheeky? What you got in the back row? Eight, seven, round three, switch the legs. <laughs> Four count, take it up. Melt it. You gotta love round three. Two by two. If it gets hard, right? You can always do thumbs up, a little hammer. Three and one. Are you squeezing when you get to the top? Not just relaxing, right? No break there. Here come the staggers. Halfway. Top. Half. To the bottom. Halfway hold. I'm gonna step it in. Set position here. This is your halfway mark. To the top and then halfway down. All right, last time here. Really squeeze something. You should have that. it down halfway up eight again check your wrist this is an easy one to roll the wrist hold it stay here stay here oh nice job and there was no third round of booty shake how disappointing was that oh <laughs> we'll throw it in another time Stretch those arms out. We're going to be going into shoulders. This shoulder track, we're going to be doing a, you saw that in the warm up, and then we're going to lighten the load. Actually, I think I'm going to go fives, and we're going to do some wide rows. And then we also go back into those raises again. <laughs> Shoulders back. Two, 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 two. 
Do it again. Forward raise, palms are up by two by two. Take it up, two count. Up, diagonal, thumb out. Side raise, palms down. Back to diagonal. Do it again. Palms are up. Hands go about to shoulder height, somewhere in that range. Right arm lift, then up and out. Up, out, switch. Both arms up, out. Now three open close. Right arm up, out. Left arm up, out. Both arms go up and open three. Do it again, lift up. Both arms go up. Three, two, one. Relax, we're coming down to the knees. I wasn't sure about that. <laughs> Wide row, drop the chest, pull it up two, up, two, and down. So the chest stays low. I want you to alternate this. Right arm, left arm. Now listen, we're going to roll it up. We're going to kick it out to the side. One arm and then the other. Are you ready? Right arm, row, hold. Kick out. Release. Other arm. You know what's going to happen? Both. Come up. Kick out. Three. Drop your chest over your thighs. Now bring it in and down. Right arm, kick it out. Woo. Left arm, pull it up and push it out. Both arms up here for three. Oh my gosh, right? Release, rise it up. That's fun, right? Woo, woo, is that what your shoulders are saying? Forward, palms up, let's go. Roll the shoulders first. Do it again, roll it back, ride this train. Two count, take it up. Thumbs. Put the brakes on in the shoulders. A little pause. Bring it up to the side. Do that again. Ooh, palms are up. Got a butt shaking songs today. Alternate forward raise. Palms can be up or down. Alternate. You know what's happening? Up, hold, right arm, take it out. Switch that. Both arms, and we open for three. Pitch between your shoulder blades. I'm feeling that. Bring it down. Right arm. Get down. Hey, this is it. Double up, let's go. Shoulder roll is set. Nice job. Woo, that was fun. Did you enjoy that? I enjoyed that one. That was good. Lots of great songs in this one. Lots of great arms. Oh, and great legs too. So it's always, legs are great to move in different directions. We're going to finish this off with some core. This core track has full sit-ups. Know your body. If your back is sensitive, you may not want to do a full sit-up. You could just do a half sit-up. Then we're going to come into forearms. We have hip dropping and then scorpion. Scorpion is where we pick up a leg and we take it behind us. Again, you can just hold your forearm plank. It is so good to do some kind of planking for your core. Come on your back. Up two. Down two. I know, it starts right away. Were you ready? And you don't have to live. 
Don't worry if you can't come all the way up. Just go to your range. This is good for when you're getting out of bed, right? One more time, staying up. Twisting to the front, slow to the back. You can grab a weight if you want to. Find an angle that challenges your core here. Tempo quick. Two more, then you're coming down to the back. Tuck in, two cows. Tuck it in. In, reach it out. Or just one knee and reach. Or like Jen, she's taking everything in and release. Four more. Exhale as you come up. Inhale as you reach out. Set position. Get ready. Sit up. Two counts. Up. Release. Try to roll your spine off that mat. Look at this thing Anything you feel, And again, a weight can be helpful. I can get your body into that range of motion. We're gonna hold the next one up here. Slow twist front. Back. I want you to settle there for that moment. Sizzle it. Tempo up. 14 of these. You're counting. Two more that come to your back. Two count, tuck it in. You feeling it now? Woo, it's right. We got forearm plank coming up here. If you need to modify it, forearms on a chair. All right, we're flipping it over. Woo! My core is fired up after that. So find your forearm plank. Knees are off the floor. They can always be on the ground. Again, you have your hands on a chair. Drop the hips to the front, to the back. Front and back. Or just settle and hold it. Embrace by pulling up and in. Super job. Nice. Hands down, up dog. All right, we're coming back to that forearm plank here. Scorpion, we're gonna take it slow. Knees off the ground. I'm gonna pick up my front foot, pick it up, hold, bend the knee, drop that foot back. Come back to center, release the foot down. Other leg, bend the knee, take it behind you, come back to center, and release the foot. One more time, each leg. We're trying to get the foot to the ground way away from us. Maybe it's not touching. Mine's not. Don't worry. All right, hold. Hip drops, front back. You're gonna hold center here. Pull up and in. Nice job. Sit back into your heels. All right, was your core on fire because mine sure was. That was short and sweet. I like that. Ooh, that was good. Short and powerful for sure. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's stretch it out. Take yourself in.
switch that leg, reach for the left leg. We were surrounded and the end was near. All of a sudden, a ranger around the Savior appeared. Made it to safety, but the devil was here. Oh no. And then settle the foot down, come to all four. Hands under shoulders, knees, open them up. Cat stretch round the back. Release the spine, look up. Do it again, round the spine. Release. Down dog. Widen your feet here. Start to walk the hands back so that your heels hit the ground and stay. Stay and straddle. Step the feet in, roll yourself up to standing. Take the right arm, reach it up, side stretch. Tricep, bring it behind. Release, other arm, reach it up. And then give yourself a nice tricep stretch. We worked those arms today. Oh my goodness. Reach it out into T, open the thumbs to the back. And then clasp the hands, round forward. And then hands behind the head, open the chest. Look up. Reach it out. A big inhale, having that gratitude. That is the attitude that you want to have. Reach it out, reach it up. Pause the top, pull it down into your heart. Touch your skin, touch your body for just that moment. Feel your heart beating, close your eyes. Take a big inhale here. Exhale it out. You did amazing. High five to you. I gotta give these guys a high five because we've been here for a while. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Cheeky in the back. And we got Diane on the side. And see, I might not forget. And guess what? We did have somebody on the other side of the camera. Do you want to say hello? We'll spin you around. Let's see. Look at that, right? You never know who's here. That's my neighbor. Nice to have you here, Kristen. Wait, we gotta do this too. High five to you. Nice shirt. You can get that same shirt too. You guys, take care. We will see you back on this mat. And always make sure, hit that subscribe button. Hit the join button if you want more content. A, hey, early access to any of the workouts. Usually they come out first for the members and then to you guys. But I hope you enjoyed this workout. Take care, we'll see you back on this mat. Adios, amigos.